So now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at pin number five of the 555 timer. It's the control pin. Um, and uh, hopefully right now it's not uh, really doing anything. We should be set to about two-thirds of the supply voltage. So there is a voltage divider between pin one and pin eight there that gets you about one-third of the supply voltage and two-thirds of the supply voltage as long as you don't alter it. Uh, so that'll control where the capacitor charges and discharges to. Uh, but we are basically tapping in to where that two-thirds supply voltage will be. So unless uh, we set this to two-thirds of the supply voltage, uh, whatever voltage uh, we set here will ultimately change where that two-thirds uh, voltage was. Um, so it's not two-thirds anymore. Um, but in case, now you can see when I lower it, uh, output is low a lot more than it is high. Whereas uh, at the beginning, it's about 50-50 which one was higher or lower, and of course I can go down to ground. This is going to the input of an op amp. So I'm just trying to not uh, block the view of the LEDs there. So yeah, the output is low, the capacitor is uh, having to discharge, maybe it can never uh, completely discharge now, but if I raise it up a little bit, um, it will at some point. There you can see it turn to uh, red. Um, so it's a little more finicky on uh, this side. If I turn it higher, um, now you're going to see, instead of it being uh, blue, which is low most of the time, the output uh, was low most of the time. Now the output is high most of the time. We've got the red LED. You can see that shortly the cathode's going to ground. Um, so we've got to have the positive supply coming out to light the red LED right now. And um, so yeah, we can adjust the duty cycle, how close they are to uh, being on uh, equally. Now the output is high more than it is low. And now I can turn it to where the uh, output, for some reason, that doesn't want to stick. Probably because of the angle I'm pushing it. Now the output wants to be low more than it wants to be high. So now I remove the uh, trim pot. That's just a floating jumper right there. It should not affect uh, anything. And uh, so yeah, right now we're going down to about uh, one third of five volts to about two thirds of five volts. Um, five volts is up there, which... Um, is a little bit more confusing math wise than six volts. So I'm gonna set this to six volts. With the resistors I have on here, I could go up to 12 volts, uh, but charging and discharging uh, the capacitor um, uh, creates high uh, current, um, but we're not gonna worry about that. Um, but uh, in any case, because this is a large value capacitor, relatively low value resistors, but perfectly fine for uh, uh, up to 12 volts. Um, but in any case, uh, there you can see, now we got one, two uh, volts. That is the lower end where the capacitor uh, discharges. And while the capacitor is discharging, the output is low. We got the blue LED lit up. So the output is basically connected to ground. By the way, i am uh, got the measurement there to the jumper, which jumps over to where the capacitor is. So ultimately, we're connected directly to the capacitor, as well as pin 2, pin 6, and a couple other things. Um, so in any case, uh, while it is charging, it charges up to uh, 2 volts. And while it is charging, the red LED is lit up. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're bouncing between two thirds and uh, one third. Now we will take uh, the trim pot and place it in the board. Now you can see um, it drops way low where the capacitor um, discharges to, almost to ground right there. And if I put this all the way to ground, now the uh, capacitor has to discharge all the way to ground and maybe it just can't quite uh, get to that voltage that uh, we have to meet. So I'm going to move it up a little bit. So in um, any case, here you can see it's also charging to a much lower voltage because we are taking part of a voltage divider, changing its the uh, voltage. So it's going to affect the other uh, side of the uh, voltage divider. So now if I go up to about, uh, there we go, to about uh, two thirds of the supply voltage, again, that's ultimately what we're connecting to, the two thirds side, not the one third side. Um, one third side is part of the voltage divider, so changing the two third side, which won't be two thirds anymore, will also make the one third not one third anymore. It will go down if uh, you lower the two third side, and it will also go up if you raise the two third side. So if we go up to, uh, so it's a six volt supply, that's all the way to six. Okay, we can actually get all the way up to six. There you can see now it's going up to six and then down to three. Um, that's because now. There's only two uh, resistances basically on the uh, low side. So um, now it's halfway the, the lower side of the voltage divider. Hopefully uh, that makes sense. The upper side is directly to the positive supply. So its 
upper resistor doesn't matter anymore because it's being bypassed by the um, by the uh, trim pot right there. So we can adjust uh, the timing that way. So in any case, it, uh, it's probably a little bit confusing. A long time ago, I made a diagram where I showed uh, the uh, voltage divider. Um, but uh, hopefully this made sense by itself. I'll try to find that old diagram and make a video uh, using that as well. But uh, for now, um, this is it. Hope you enjoyed. I try to set the power supply back to 5 volts when I'm done because generally I assume it's 5 volts. And um, before I made this video, um, also as a warning, I um, was hitting the power button, the circuit wasn't turning on. I actually had both alligator clips here. Uh, they were touching the metal and you'll notice that uh, when I drop this down, this will probably shut off. There you go, now I'm touching, both of them are touching the metal. So I'm surprised, uh, maybe I'm not touching the metal. Okay, yeah. No, it's off, it's on, that's weird. Let's try this. So yeah, they were conducting enough to uh, make a short circuit, but they aren't anymore for some reason. Um, but uh, any case, um, I uh, try to set it to five volts and a maximum of 20 milliamps of current in case I miswire something. Hopefully I won't fry it. I change it when I need to, and I try to change it back when I am done. Um, so, any case, uh, unfortunately it was short circuiting before, but won't now. That's weird. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on the screen, and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.